Hello guys and welcome to Coding Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to implement location service in your Flutter application. In the location service, this is a demo. We're gonna get the latitude and the longitude and we're gonna get the country and the administrative area, which is for this emulator, United States, California. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content. Now let's get started. All right, to get this started, I've already created a Flutter project. In the main, I have only run app. And in the my app, it's a, sl a stateless widget. And it has material app with title location demo and home as home widget. Home widget is actually a stateful widget. And we only have the build method right now. And inside it, we have scaffold, then app bar, then padding, then the column. Then inside the column, I'm just having text, location info, and style with a method called get the style. Now this get the style is actually a text style and it takes only size by default it's 20 unless it's sent which is here since this is the title as location info and then font weight font weight .pol. Now to get started what we need to do we need to add two libraries to our project so I'll go to the browser and we're gonna use this library location so I will copy this dependency and I will go to popspec.yml and I will paste it after here and I will also use this geocoding so I will copy this dependency and I will keep the links in the description box so I will paste it here as well and I will click pub get and wait for it a little bit to run after it finish close the app since we have to rerun it again now what we're gonna do we're gonna create a new file and Let's call it location underscore service. And inside here, inside here, let's create a class called location service. All right, inside here, we'll create late location and make sure you select the location package, not the geocoding. And let's call it location. And we're gonna create bool and let's call it service enabled equal to false and let's create permission status and but make sure it's not html permission status from the location package and let's say granted permission and let's make this private and let's make this nullable now inside the constructor which is location service we're gonna just define the location we're, we'll say location is equal to location and that's it now we want to check on the service if it's enabled and if it's not we're gonna ask the user to enable the service and we're gonna check on the permission if we have permission we can get the location if we don't have permission we can't get the location so first let's create future and it returns bool and let's say check permission inside here doesn't take anything and it's async now inside here before we do anything let's create another function let's call it future bool and let's say check service and it's async as well and let's make all of these private okay now inside here we're gonna try and we're gonna say service enabled is equal to await look this location dot has or, or service enabled and after it we're gonna check if different from service enabled which means the service is disabled we're gonna say service enabled is equal to await location dot request service and that's it however we have to catch the error so we're gonna say on platform exception catch and error here we can print error code is and we can say error dot code and we can say and message is equal to error dot message 
now you might wonder why to use try catch in here and i'm using try catch because i used this package previously and on some android devices it may take some time to request the service so we might get a platform exception so we will ask the user to check for the service again inside here so we're gonna catch that error if it's appear but most cases almost 99 maybe this error doesn't appear but we're gonna cover it anyway so inside here we can say service enables equal to false and we can say await so we're gonna check the service again and finally inside here we can return the service enabled all right and that's it now inside here we can say if await and we can await the check service because if we don't if the service is disabled we don't want to check for permission we only check for permission if the service is enabled so inside here we're gonna say granted permission is equal to await location dot has permission sorry has permission and we're gonna check if granted permission different from permission status dot granted and if it's different from that we're gonna request a permission so we're gonna say granted permission is equal to await location dot request permission and that's it so after these ifs after here we're gonna return we're gonna say granted permission equal equal to permission sorry permission status dot granted so we're gonna check if granted permission is equal equal to granted if it's equal to granted it will return true otherwise it will return false and if you want since we have different values here we have granted denied denied forever and granted limited so it might be granted limited so we're gonna just check on the denied and if it's granted forever we don't want to ask for permission so let's keep it as equal equal to denied and that's it now down here we're gonna create a future and this return location data and inside here let's say it get location and it doesn't take anything and this is an async method and here first thing we have to check if and this location data is actually nullable so we have to check if uh, await check permission if we granted permission if we have permission otherwise inside here we're gonna just return null and here we're gonna say final location data is equal to location dot get location and we're gonna return the location data all right now let's go to the main and in the main function in the init state init state let's create a method and let's call it get location and before we do that let's create string and let's say this is all are nullable and let's say we want to get the let and the long and country and admin area and beneath the, this method let's create void get location and this is actually async and inside here let's say final service is equal to location service and let's say final location data is equal to await service dot get location and we're gonna check if location data different from null we're gonna set state for let to be location data dot latitude dot string as to string as fixed for two digits or you can display it all 
and make sure to unwrap this and let's say long is equal to location data dot longitude unwrap dot to string as fixed for two digits and inside here let's say text and let's say latitude that otherwise if it's null let's show loading and let's have size box as well of 20 and let's copy this make sure to have comma here and add the comma again here and let's say longitude to long and let's add the country and the admin area once and for all <laughs> country country and admin area for admin area and now let's run the app to see how it appear before we implement the country and the admin area all right the app is running and it requested the service so let's say while using the app and that's it we should get the latitude and we should get the longitude and since the service is enabled it didn't ask me to enable the service so let's just get the country and the admin area now so what we're gonna do we're gonna go back to the service and inside here let's create future and before we continue I want to import this geolocation package and geocoding sorry and let's call it as geo all right now here i'm gonna say sorry i'm gonna say geo dot place mark so we're gonna return a place mark and let's call it get place mark however this time it takes location data as location data and it's async as well so here what we're gonna do we're gonna say final place or okay final place mark place marks is, are equal to await do dot place mark from coordinates and we're gonna have to send the latitude and the longitude and that's why we send the location data dot latitude and first unwrap it then location data dot longitude and first unwrap it as well all right however this returns list so this returns list of place marks so we're gonna check if place mark different from null and and place marks dot is not empty and we're gonna make this nullable as well because it might not return null sorry so if it's not null and if it's not empty we're gonna return place marks for index zero now this is a list and for this tutorial we're just gonna return the first index of it and after the if we're gonna just return null and we're gonna make this nullable as well okay now let's go back to the main and in here let's create after we check if the location data is different from null let's say final place mark equal to await service dot get place mark and send the location data now inside here we're gonna say country equal to place mark and we're gonna set make question mark dot country otherwise if it's null let's say couldn't or could not get country and let's duplicate it and let's say admin area and admin area could not get admin area and let's rerun the app to see how it appears this time so let's go back to the emulator and let's see all right it's loading and after a while after it got the location we can see that it got united states and california and this is 
accurate a little bit. So if we go, for example, from this country, from United States, let's minimize it and go, for example, here. I think this is in Africa and set location. And if we rerun the app now, we should get different location. So let's see. And and we do it's Sudan and I don't know this is what the, what is this so it's Sudan and it's in Africa so that's it and I wasn't sure if you could see them because I forgot to set the style for all of these I created this method however I forgot to apply it in here and here and here so let's save it now and now you can see better, you can see the country and you can see the admin area. So thank you guys for watching. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to see more beautiful content like this. And see you in the next video.